Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with a full case break of 2020 Panini Mosaic Football Blaster Edition. Pick your team number 34 from jazbeescasebreaks.com. Now if you bought at least two teams, or if somehow you got at least two teams, maybe through the promo, the giveaways as well, then you'll be you'll have a shot at the uh, the Bengals in this break, which would be pretty nice. So Chad got at least two, that's an entry. Chad D. Don got four teams. That's two entries. Actually, well, you got five, but for the purpose of the promo, those four count. Jason Siever with a team. That's an entry. Karen with two teams. That's an entry. Martin bought four teams. That's two entries. Basically, by an even number of teams. Monty with a team. That's an entry. Robert, same with you, Monty. You got three technically, but two count towards the promo. Robert with two teams. That's an entry. And Ryan Heinz with eight teams that is four entries right there so let's take your names let's get some new dice new list let's roll it randomize it name on top after five four and a one two three and a one fifth and final time name on top it's monty after five you get the bangles in this break There you go. We'll put a little rooftop there so you know you won that spot in that giveaway randomizer. Nice. Let's sort this back by team. And let's print and rip. Jonathan, no worries for the entertainment. You got your second dose today? Good. Yeah. Take it easy. Kick back and relax. And maybe we'll pull you some nice stuff out of this break, Jonathan. And maybe some, maybe some Brady's. Maybe some Brady's. All those Brady's will ship anyway. Those are one of the... And Mahomes is too. Brady's, Mahomes, those are the vet commons that do ship. There's 20 here. Just trust me on that. All right, so we'll open up a, a handful of boxes at a time, and we'll go from there. Reds are in Los Angeles playing my Dodgers. Reds up 1-0, bottom of the fourth. Sounds a little baseball on the back. We're going to have the sounds of the draft on a little bit later this week. Thursday, right? Draft's coming up this week. Thursday, Friday, something like that. In Cleveland? So that, that should be fun to, to, to watch. I'm excited. I'm a Raiders fan. And I'm excited to see who they pick. I think with the 17th or 18th pick, defense is obviously a huge problem for the Raiders. I'd love to see them get a get a nice defensive player. They're looking at this linebacker. Some recent mock drafts are suggesting that that they're going to take a linebacker. I forget who, but hopefully, hopefully someone will be linebacking has been. Among the many defensive problems that my Raiders have, linebacker has been one of the worst problems. After all, no. As it clearly states in the item description, no veteran commons will ship. In fact, that's the first line of the description. All that information in the description, folks. 
Adam says, in my mock draft, you have the Raiders pulling a surprise by trading up for Trey Lance. Wow. That would be a Raiders-y thing to do, Adam. Be like when the be like when the Packers traded up for Jordan Love. I think they traded up for Jordan Love, or they took Jordan Love. I mean, that would be that would be crazy. I don't know what assets they have to trade up with, but I suppose they could find somebody. See what see what they can do. Is this the year that we see four quarterbacks taken in a row? But you don't have the Bucks after all. That would be that would be Hollywood. I think you you may you may have looked at the the list incorrectly. Jonathan with the with the Bucks. That's Hollywood in the chat. You're working with Hollywood. Okay. Well. I, I don't know if you can really speak for him. <laughs> Just because you say you are. All right, that Jalen Hurts will go to Adam and the Eagles. We were just talking about Jordan Love right there, too. Oh, he does work for you. All right. You never know on the internet. <laughs> I thought after all it was going to be like, yeah, and I've got a new address for you to send all those cards to. Scout's Honor. Hollywood said it was okay. All right, there's there's Tua Tungvaloa. I guess his job is safe. A lot of people thought they were going to go for a quarterback or trade for a quarterback. That goes to Don. And we'll have a pile right there. Our shipping team, we're just in the interest of time. We're going to have our shipping team sleeve and top load all of those a little bit later. Based on just pulling rookie parallels. to sleeve and top load and the top quarterbacks will uh, will sleeve and top load right away. We might as well just sleeve up that Jalen Hurts too. Oh, well, I mean, as long as you're the one controlling that Hollywood, that's fine. I don't know. I just see a random person in the chat come in. He says, yeah, I'm working for another guy. It's the internet, man. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta initially be skeptics. Ooh, nice. Will Smith, three-one bomb, gone. There you go. Dodgers waking up a little bit. I've never seen you in the chat, after all. You are definitely a rando to me. 
I think we're still gonna need Hollywood to do any trades in the, in the future, though. If there's any trade windows and stuff. That person, I I, I do know. Can't can't set the precedent for like proxies to trade. For people, we gotta have the original person here in the chat. All right, anyone, uh, anyone else think there's going to be some surprise in the draft? Four quarterbacks taken in the first four picks. That has never happened before. Three, I think, yes, a long time ago. Anyone anyone think four will happen? What's your team? What, what are you looking for in the draft? Obviously, like I said, I'm a Raiders guy. If... if Adam Kufferman, if they take a quarterback, that feels like a very Raiders-y thing they would do. Take take a take an unnecessary position on a player. But I think I'm hoping that some 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 defensive player in the first round. And I they've really missed on they've hit on offense pretty well. But defense is they really need a hit on defense. They've they've missed on on defense, first round defense for years. They gotta turn that train around. So hopefully that'll be that will be this year. Adam Kupperman thinks thinks four, but he doesn't think Atlanta makes that fourth pick, a quarterback. Maybe they trade down. Someone trades up to get a QB. Maybe Denver wants a QB. Yeah, Jordan's right. Imagine the Jags take someone else. That would that would ruin. I feel like that would wreck the entire draft. Everyone's draft board. So let's take. Let's say the Jags are like, you know what? We're gonna go with Pene Sewell. We want this, 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 uh, this offensive line prodigy Sewell, or Sewell, that can pretty much play everywhere. Is super young, already an intelligent offensive lineman. He's gonna be there for the next 12 years, protecting whatever quarterback we get. And if you give the quarterback time to throw says Urban Meyer in the press conference, then any quarterback could be successful in my system. Wow, that would ruin everything. And then all of a sudden, then you think, the Jets are like, holy crap, look what just happened. Now we got to take Trevor Lawrence. So they do. And then Zach, Zach Wilson goes to, maybe Atlanta keeps the pick, and now Zach Wilson's like, Whoa, I'm going to the I'm going to Atlanta now, and Atlanta's like, well, we can't pass up Zach Wilson at this point. No, no, no. Third is the Niners. Then the then Niners, who were probably going to get Mac Jones, is now thinking we got. Do we take Zach Wilson now? We didn't scout for Zach Wilson. We scouted for Mac Jones and Justin Fields. So they take Mac Jones. So at four, that's where Zach Wilson lands. And then, <laughs> and then the Falcons are like, well, we were going to trade down. But now that Zach Wilson, potentially a number two pick, is up here, down at four, oh, we we got to take. Imagine that that would just ruin the entire draft. And then you have Justin Fields dropping to who knows. That would just blow up the draft. What if the Jags did that just to piss everybody off? There's Justin Herbert, Monty with the Chargers. Oblix is hoping that Bears need to tackle. Yeah, they could they could use some offensive line. People are I've heard from some people that it, this isn't this is a uh, a deep offensive line draft. So there could be value value in in the second third rounds as well. There's Justin Herbert, another one for Monty. Chad thinking the Seahawks will take an O-lineman in the second to appease uh, Russell Wilson. Yeah, give, give that man some protection. Help him out. What, what if they take... What if, Jordan saying, what if, what if the Jaguars take Justin Fields? Whoa! 
Look at that. Rookie Scripps autograph for the Chargers. That is for Monty, who won the Chargers in that filler break. Hmm. That is not too shabby at all. For a spot that you won. Yeah, I, can you imagine if you just bought that blaster? Get that Justin Herbert autograph. Uh, draft is on th Thursday? Thursday or Friday? There's a Joe Burrow as well for the Bengals. That'll be also be for... Wow, Monty... Got the Bengals. That's right. So he got randomized the Chargers in the filler break and then got randomized the Bengals in within this break right here. That's crazy. Yeah, can you imagine camping out at the Target parking lot, getting your allotment of a blaster box, and that's the thing that pops out of there? That would make it all worthwhile. First round, yeah, first round is Thursday. First two rounds are Thursday? Round one and two? Or is it just first round on on Thursday and then round two and three on Friday? And then five and six on Saturday? And then seven, five, six, seven on Saturday? I forget how they're doing it. Oh, gotcha. Second and third on Friday, then four through seven on Saturday. Wow, Jordan's Target stopped doing cards because of fights. Where do you where where, where do you live, Jordan? You don't have to tell me exa the exact city if it's a small town, but give me a region. <laughs> Chad managed to get three blasters from Target and ended up with a Tyrese Halliburton auto out of 15. That's pretty nice, too. Jordan's down in San Diego. That's wild. Adam's been hearing they're not going to let people camp out, and they're changing it to one item per person. you imagine being like a manager at a Target? Like selling cards is probably a drop in the bucket of their gross sales. Right? I think it's gotta be, I mean, it's gotta be a drop in the bucket compared to what their gross sales are on everything else they do at that store on a daily basis. <laughs> and all this time, the manager must be pissed to devote all this time to, uh, to sports cards. I mean, at some point, it's just, it's just not worth it. Rex is saying Target should do Target should do those blasters online, then in-store pickup. And no bots because they wouldn't allow multiples during the order. Yeah, why, why wouldn't they do that? I don't know. See, that's but Rex, what I'm saying is that I think it's such a small drop in the bucket to what they, you know, like that's not a, they're not counting on cards to, to make them a profit, right? So to go through all that, Go through a lot of trouble for that. I 
I, I mean, it would annoy me if I'm running a target. I'm like, what? I gotta... We, we should just put them out on the rack and just not even think about it. <laughs> now I gotta think about it. I've got plenty of other things to think about. I've heard some rumblings. This might just be just just wild speculation, but I feel like I heard someone NFL Live or some, someone somewhat credible saying that uh, that the Eagles might think about taking a quarterback. I feel like that'd be kind of wild, though, right? They wouldn't take a quarterback, would they? Uh, that would make Jalen Hurts collectors not happy. Nice Jerry Judy hollow for uh, the Broncos, Don. Oh, the, you heard a rumor that the, the Eagles wanted Zach Wilson. Yeah, obviously the, the, the Jets are ha heavily linked to Zach Wilson, Darksiders. But, hmm. Yeah, I don't think yeah, I don't think the Eagles are gonna pry Zach Wilson away unless I don't know. If they were able to trade up maybe. I don't know if the Jets are gonna trade out of that pick though for Jalen Hurts. Right, and they would be only only have been able to trade up to three. Interesting. Obelisk is saying Eagles are dummies. Missed out on Jefferson last year. Won't get Chase or Pitts this year. Dummies, yeah. Well, <laughs> that's why That's why I think uh, That's why I think they overhauled that front office and the coaching staff. So hopefully they won't be dum-dums this year and going forward. Next group of boxes right here, and then we got another five remaining. Should be done in about another 10, 20 minutes. And then uh, if you look at the schedule that's in the chat, if you're watching live, you'll be able to see what's coming up. We are booked for the night. So we're doing, we're gonna finish this case. Right, we're running a tiny bit behind, but we'll get Immaculate Collection Hoops going. Uh, we'll fly through that and then we'll uh, get that Justin Herbert helmet randomizer going and then we'll call it a night. Oh no. Oh, oh no. Farmer, former Dodger, rocking a double off the wall. I did, I did. He was he was out for a couple of games because of that, wasn't it? Think if the Chargers pick up someone for Herbert. Herbert's soft will soar this weekend. 
it's possible, yeah. I think the Chargers first round pick is uh, is probably going to go. If that first round pick is probably going to go for like the offensive line. So that's not very a very sexy pick, but if they can make a splash on, you know, I mean, if if they get a huge offensive player, I don't know. I can't imagine how many players would actually raise the stock of a QB this year, except for like Kyle Pitts, basically. But I don't know if I don't know if he's going to fall to where the Chargers are at. But. Yeah, that would be a good combination. If Kyle Pitts went to the Chargers, that would be the kind of offensive player that connected with a second-year quarterback that might that might create excitement enough to raise the stock of that quarterback, Justin Herbert in this case. And a Jeff Okuda Genesis parallel. That's a short print. Going to Robert and the Lions. Brandon can't wait to order his Trevor Lawrence jersey once he announces his number. Where does this guy end up? I don't is he is he going to be content being the backup to Sam Darnold? Maybe he's going to fight for his job there? I don't know. Another autograph, Scripps Auto Marcus Davenport for the Saints that'll be for Karen. Darksiders hoping Fitzpatrick helps Terry McLaurin cards go up? Doubtful. Washington needs to get a core. Washington, I've said this, but I'll say it again. Washington should get Teddy Bridgewater. I'm getting a little toasty here. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. Fitz, Fitzpatrick hasn't been a full season starter in a long time. I don't think he's gonna. They're gonna need a quarterback. I think. I mean, Fitzpatrick is great in 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 spots here and there. He's an excellent backup. I think. Although I could see him having a great like first few weeks. Nine touchdowns in the first three weeks of a season before then the inevitable <laughs> like four interception game happens. Jonathan Griffin's thinking Bridgewater will end up with the Broncos. Right, if the Broncos don't make a move for a quarterback in the draft, yeah, maybe they'll look at someone like Teddy Bridgewater. And rookie scripts, T. Higgins. Hopefully we'll hear Burrow to Higgins for many years to come. Monty with the Bengals. All right, last group of boxes here. Good luck, everybody. Yeah, some, some nice autos in this case, right?
Yeah, Bengals have a tough choice too. Do they get the offensive line, the offensive lineman Sewell that can uh, that can protect Joe Burrow for the next decade, or do you connect him? Do you give him an offensive player to replace uh, to replace AJ Green? Oblis says, I go with Jay Chase and a great O-line possibility in the second round of this year. So, yeah, that's what that's what I heard too, that the offensive line class is pretty deep. But with Sewell, I, I feel like they're saying that he is like a generational talent though. <laughs> Can you pass that up? A generational offensive lineman? They're saying that he is... That he is like maybe a year, a solid year or two younger than everybody, than all the other offensive linemen, and more just mentally skilled, just prepared for that position and just physically skilled for that position as well. And just a level of aggressiveness that is unique. You know, that's more suited for a defensive end than an offensive lineman. AJ Green's been done to, well, we'll see. Maybe, maybe a change of scenery will, will do him well. I'll take a flyer on AJ Green in fantasy this year if I could get him, if the hype is low and I can get him cheap. DraftKings has an odd boost on Luke and Seth to combine for 75. They were at 66 through the third. And they're sitting out the fourth since the game isn't close. That's the rough part with those overs. You want to root for those games to be close. Made a trade in fantasy. DeGrom, Archer, and Sheffield for Kershaw, Strasburg, and Thor. How did I do? Uh, I would have kept DeGrom. You think Beckham gets traded to the Bucks? Do the Bucks need him? I forget. Do they have receivers? They still have Mike Evans, right? And Godwin? And Gronk? And tight ends who can catch passes? I don't know if they... they he could. I don't know if, they, if that's a huge need for them, though. Yeah, sorry, Danny. I would I would have kept I would have kept Degrom. I think Kersh, Kershaw's a little bit past his prime now. He's effective, but past his prime. Strasburg, I feel like, can get injured at the drop of a hat, and Thor's coming back from injury as well. You need some more quality pitchers. I don't know. I would have stuck with DeGrom, who seems to be a lock for eight innings, 15 strikeouts a game, and a minuscule ERA. Kershaw still has his moments, though. He's going to be pretty strong. But yeah, I guess one... I mean, Archer and Sheffield are almost throw-ins, so really you're hoping that that Kershaw maintains what he maintains this year. You'll have to just ride out some some rough starts here and there. Strasburg, cross your fingers. Hope he doesn't get injured. And then Thor. Hopefully, everyone seems to be saying he's he's gonna be he's gonna be fine. He's gonna be great. So if you can get like seventy five percent of Degrom out of Thor, 
That could be that could be pretty interesting. Yeah, tough to move. Yeah, you don't want to let Degrom go either, right? Yeah. Tough though. Tough to let Degrom though. Degrom go though. Right. Thor hit ninety seven today, right? Yeah. He's they they, they say he's gonna be fine. Back in June though, you gotta you gotta wait a little bit. Jerry Judy Green for the Broncos. That'll be for Don. Jake from State Farm. I think Jake Fromm gets us gets. I mean, because they Bills have Trubisky now as the backup. So I, I don't know if Jake Fromm is going to get much time there. So maybe he can get a chance somewhere else. Maybe do well. Any big quarterbacks at the end? No. Chris Jones at the end. An expired kid reporter card. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, that was a 20-box blaster case. Pick your team 34. This actually turned out... We didn't see as many of the quarterbacks as I hoped we would. Right? But we did get a Justin Herbert auto out of here, which is pretty awesome. So thanks for giving it a go, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'll see you next time on the next one. Bye-bye.